there is a correlation of aspects in common with the seeing function, perception of patterns of light, and the sense of existence. Imagine that we are standing in a vast expanse of land, high desert with hardy desert plants of different types surrounding us, two main types of cactus with different shapes and similar spines, and yucca plants looking like porcupines or sea urchins of the desert with a stalk rising from the center. To the distance we see a horizon of bluish-gray, low-lying mountains, surmounted by shallow, cumulus clouds, looking, by their shapes, like they are racing to the horizon, white on a rich blue sky. And we walk, at first skirting spiny cactus plants until we come to a dirt road, then turn right at the road and walk it. As we walk, we notice that the spiny cactus plants nearest us appear and seem to move past us from front to back faster than plants that are farther away. In fact, as we walk, we notice that the further away things are, the less they appear to move past us. They seem more to stay with us. Clouds near the horizon seem not to move at all perceptibly in pace with our walking, but have their own slow, sideways pace in which they gradually change shape. The clear, deep blue sky at the top of the distant, low-lying mountains seems not to move at all. The most distant seem not to move relative to us, and seem to stay with us, moveless. Sound at all familiar? We ourselves, as seeming centers of outlooking awareness, have a sense of the things around us because they have our attention. They have our attention. Do I have your attention? The things around us that seem to change most quickly are those closest to us. In our experience, some things change more quickly than others. The things that change most quickly stay the most freshly in our attention. The things that change more slowly, that persist more, fade from our attention and become part of the background. What changes most and most quickly tends to be foreground to us, and to remain in the foreground until we become familiar with it. Then it fades to background. Thus the things that are most distant from us, which includes most of totality, fade to the background. The totality of everything is the means available for awareness to be known. We cannot know awareness without memory. Knowing is the resonance of experience with memory. No memory, no experience. Short-term memory counts. Thus, what does not change in our personal experience, which is most of totality, which is in the background, while our locally experienced life is in the foreground. That most of totality experience resonates with long, 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 long-term faded memory. The accumulation of all memory, anciently and distantly, to create a tacit sense of unchanging being that tacit sense of unchanging being is the unknown unknown that we call by many names higher self mystery awareness the now here-ness 
but as it's locally experienced by a local inhabitant, namely you. You experience it as a sense of awareness or presence, not definable, though referable to. That somehow has always been where you are, continuously even now. That sense is generated by totality, impinging on locations throughout space-time, producing local centers of attention that look out upon features of experience and look in upon features of self that you call you. It's just that personal memories are more vivid and fresh memories are more, most vivid, and all that has faded to background, has submerged below the surface of noticing. So it is that the nascent field of seemingly unchanging awareness may be entirely overlooked. That nascent field is completely continuous with personal awareness. But the most familiar features of personal awareness, the deepest, most continuous features of ourselves, lie submerged. Hidden movements shaping personal existence. The deepest, most primal familiarities merge with the unknown unknown that we intuit as our most essential being that doesn't seem to change. But without memory we can't be sure, and the unknown unknown cannot be remembered, as it is the voice of totality. The fading of memory is like the receding of something into the distance. As we move through life, it seems to stay with us. So it is with the awareness of totality, of which we each are a focal center. <laughs>